Hello, my name is Daniel Zuluaga. I am lute player and guitar player, guest artist for the Baroque Chamber Orchestra of Colorado. For a performance, for a show that is being done tomorrow, Saturday at 7.30 on August the 3rd at the Welshire Presbyterian Church. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the kinds of instruments that we will see tomorrow night or that you will see uh, as an audience uh, when you come, because I'm sure all of you will want to come. Uh, and they're the kind of instruments that I play. So the first one is called the theorbo, which is sort of a big, big bass lute, although mine is not particularly that big. Um, you may be familiar with these kinds of instruments. Um, in the Baroque period, they tended to be used uh, as solo instruments, but all the more, all the more as uh, instruments to accompany singers, orchestras, chamber ensembles, etc. So what you see here is an instrument that you know, the back is a little bit like a typical lute, as you would see in paintings of the Renaissance and the Baroque, but it has this really long extension with this very, very long bass strings. And the trick for this is that with the instrument you have a little bit of a cross between a harp and a guitar. So these short strings, for example, these are a little bit like a guitar, the tuning is slightly different, but essentially you, you fret them like a guitar and you pluck them like this. Now, the bass strings are tuned in a scale, a little bit like a baritonic harp. So if I play the strings, they sound like this. And so, when you play this instrument, again, it's a, not a soloist instrument, but it's an accompaniment instrument, you are working in the background, sort of playing chords, and then you play the bass. And so you do a combination of both uh, types of sounds. And what you get is a very uh, refined, at times, and brusque at times as well, type of sound that actually blends into the ensemble and blends into the groups, into the violins and the viola d'amores, as we'll see tomorrow, as you'll see tomorrow, or if you come to the concert, uh, and makes for a very warm sound. Now, the other instrument that I'm going to play is called a guitar, or at least at the time they used to call it a guitar, and it kind of looks like one, but if you notice, there are some differences in how the instrument looked, looks uh, compared to a modern one, excuse me. Uh, and you can see that apparently it has lots more strings, a lot of more strings, but in reality it has double strings, so you can consider this, imagine a 12-string guitar that is missing the lowest pair of strings. It's kind of the same thing. Except that the guitar is different. I mean, the, the instrument may appear to be smaller because it's narrower, it doesn't have the big body of modern guitar, but it's, as a matter of fact, it's longer. This distance from here to here is longer. And the sound is a lot lighter than a modern guitar. It's a lot more rhythmic. So if I play this instrument, which the most normal play to do it, uh, is to strum it. It sounds something like this. The roll is a little bit the same thing as the fiorbo, except that the color is different, as you can see. I mean, if I do this, uh, sort of something very light, but at the same time very rhythmic. And part of the point is, it's also in the background, but it's a bit more like a combination between chordal instrument, and then a uh, drum section. So imagine sort of a jazz section, in the jazz rhythm section in the, in the modern set, sense. Uh, and if you come to the concert tomorrow, again, it's Saturday at 7.30 at Welshire Presbyterian Church. This is the Baroque Chamber Orchestra of Colorado. Uh, you're going to be able to see both instruments plus a lot more. Two violas d'amore, harpsichord that you can see here in the background, an organ that you probably can see it's on my other side. Uh, we will all be playing some fantastic music uh, from late 17th century Germany. Germany. Um, hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you very much.